with Chief Meteorologist Holden LaCroix. Welcome back. Probably woke up to a little bit of mist, patchy drizzle this morning, and that was our cold front that has cooled us off today. If you remember this time yesterday, we're sitting about 86, 87 degrees. Today, sitting in the mid 70s, and it feels fantastic outside. Don't get used to it, though. We are expecting that heat to build as early as Thursday, and that will continue into this weekend. Now, you can see a little bit of cloud cover still passing over the region right now. This is the very far extremities of this cold front that's kind of shaving through the northwest, and we are going to be seeing some pretty prominent northwest winds tonight, and that is going to cool things off dramatically. We have a lot of dry air in place past this cold front and it is going to be a chilly start to the day tomorrow morning. Take a look at these overnight lows. If you're up into the foothills, we're going to be talking about low 40s early tomorrow morning and even across Willamette Valley, Eugene around 45 degrees. And I will say some in the valley will actually dip below 45 as well. This is a very dry air mass and notice up toward the Cascades, we are going to be getting down to freezing. That is the first freeze of the season. And yes, we're still in the month of August, but high temperatures will rebound significantly tomorrow afternoon from 45 in the morning to about 80 degrees by the afternoon. And notice those of you up into the foothills around 85. Some communities are going to be inching closer to near 90 degrees, possibly 100 by the second half of the week. And I do want to make note that it is going to be another windy day for the coast tomorrow. After tomorrow, those winds should start to shave down a little bit. Overnight tonight, you can see some high level clouds streaming in over the region, but the clear skies tonight will drop the temperatures down into the 40s small morning. We start to warm things up as early as around nine o'clock by the afternoon back into the 80s, and we are going to be dealing with the clear skies again for Thursday morning. Not as cold of a start, but still getting down into the 40s for one more night. Here's the heat though. It's packing a punch. It is coming back by Friday where we are expecting temperatures back into the mid 90s. Notice it's only about a three day stretch before we finally cool things off. And I will say on Monday we do get another very similar cold front to what we had today. So that will mean a little morning mist on Monday morning with mainly sunny skies in the afternoon. Now, long term, we are going to be seeing this heat wave build possibly all the way into about Saturday and Sunday. You can see the ridge of high pressure anchored over the northwest, but then we get this cool down that's expected as early as Monday. But I do caution you, we are expecting the potential of another heat wave, which could follow uh, right toward that first week of September. So we are expecting to cool things off on Monday, but it does look like we could get another punch of this summer like heat toward the first part of September. Now for tomorrow, we are going to still expect some pretty gusty conditions for the coast, but by Thursday, we're going to start to see those winds subside 75 degrees on Thursday, but you can see the cloud cover coming back on Sunday. That is due to some pretty strong onshore flow ahead of that cold front. Now for the Umqua Basin, uh, 83 tomorrow. We are back into the mid 90s on Thursday. The heat continues to build by Friday at around 98 degrees. Finally, some much cooler temperatures by next Monday at about 78. For the Cascades, 68 Wednesday afternoon. We are back up into the mid 80s at pass level. That is after Frost possible tomorrow morning right at past level as temperatures cool to around 32 degrees and for Eugene and Corvallis 80 degrees tomorrow mid 90s by Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. But next week you can see the cooling trend, the cooling temperatures by Monday at about 78 degrees. All right, thanks Holden. Now it's time.